Hello, this is Paul Newman speaking. For 100 years, Woodland Park Zoo has been a place where children's natural curiosity, enthusiasm, and imagination can grow. It's a magical place that creates a living bond between our amazing world and the young people who will soon have a hand in deciding its future. It's a world-class zoo with a world-class dream to secure the funding needed to continue its leadership into the 21st century. We call it Zoo 21. It's important because if we're going to save any piece of the planet at all, the children who are growing up now are going to have to have a strong sense of stewardship about what's left to preserve and take care of what's there. And the only way they will learn that is when they're young being exposed to the natural world, to animals, and understanding their needs. Well, welcome to Woodland Park Zoo. My name is Carla, and I'm going to be one of your guides today. We are going to be building two types of forests up here on the stage. Okay, good job. Education has always been the single most important objective at Woodland Park Zoo. Popular programs like Forest Explorers encourage children to actively participate in learning about the relationship between animals and their habitats. The educational value of the zoo is multiple, but the, the single thing is sensitizing our kids and our grandkids at the time when sensitization is important about the beauties of this world and this earth and how to maintain it and how to have respect for every living creature. Our society is so busy now. We don't take our kids out and look under rocks with them and, and tear apart a leaf to see what's inside. People are so busy now, they don't have that time for children, but we do. At the zoo, we are teaching them things that nobody else can teach them. And we have to be there for them. Woodland Park Zoo has always been a great place for people to visit, but not always a great place for animals to live. For several decades, the zoo has been working to replace old-fashioned cages with healthy habitats for the creatures in its care. Woodland Park Zoo has become an international pioneer in the movement to provide natural settings for animals. Exhibits like the African savanna, the elephant forest, the tropical rainforest, and the northern trail make this zoo one of the world's finest. But there is still much work left to do. Animals like the Humboldt penguins need a new home, and the zoo's big cats desperately need more space. It was built in 1951, and that's a long time ago. We understand animals better now and the needs that they have, and they need a lot more than what we're offering them right now. Run around with this song. Zookeeper Dana Wooster does all she can do to keep the cramped cats from becoming bored or stressed while they wait for their new home. It's very hard for me to sit here and explain to people why they're in this, in this kind of enclosure when you see the rest of the zoo with these fabulous new exhibits that are really wonderful. And the visitors come up and say, well, what, what about these guys? Did they get forgotten? And I go, well, no, but, you know, it takes a lot of money to house dangerous carnivores, for one thing. Zoo 21 plans call for improving the living conditions for the cats, as well as building exciting and vital new exhibits for endangered animals, like Indian rhinos and giant pandas. There are lots of opportunities to give to our community, but this is one that's very special. It's one that we've been working on for 100 years, and I hope for the next 100 years. It's one where we have achieved world-class status. The zoo's commitment to education and to the creatures in its care is equaled by its mission to conserve animals in the wild. Woodland Park Zoo participates in the Species Survival Plan, a cooperative conservation program to help save animals from extinction. With the help of Woodland Park Zoo, many endangered animals that once soared, swam, ran, and roared are getting a second chance.
My hope is that the zoo will play a fairly significant role in, in developing an appreciation, especially in young people, uh, as to what their responsibility is and how marvelous these creatures are, whether it's insects or, or elephants. Woodland Park Zoo has evolved into an internationally recognized leader in conservation, education, and exhibition. But it is still a work in progress, a work that needs support today, if it is to continue into the next century, bridging the gap between people and the natural world. The thing that's compelling to me and the reason that I want to participate and the reason that I'm asking uh, uh, colleagues and friends and community uh, people to participate is that it's such a great chance for all of us to help the next generation appreciate this diversity, to appreciate our world, to appreciate the importance of using our resources so carefully and protecting all of the species, both the human species and the animal species. Be a lonesome world without the animals. Thank you.